Hello everyone. So today let us take a look at this question from Stefan. Now the question is about a workload split on sprints and what Stefan is trying to do. I believe uh, Stefan is trying to use uh, advanced roadmaps for doing sprint planning. So when it when it comes to planning, advanced roadmaps can be used for creating a plan. Now the plan uh, is all about uh, what all epic stories you want to deliver and by when you can deliver in which sprints those uh, stories needs need, needs to be planned at the same time uh, if you have a team you can also create your teams so here is a scenario where our, our question is all about with, let us say if there is a team anna and uh, stefan which is the name of the team and uh, what stefan is asking here let us say if this team's capacity is uh, is 10 day per sprint now this is of course the capacity and at the same time uh, a sprint will last for two weeks like usual sprint duration now the question is the main question is that let us say if there is a story with an estimate of 15 days so uh, yes this is the question here so uh, if the estimate is 15 days then uh, what advanced roadmap is doing advanced roadmap is uh, basically showing this story to span across multiple sprints uh, and uh, what uh, what stefan was expecting i believe uh, the expectation was that uh, the first sprint will be filled first with uh, 10 days and the second sprint will be filled with uh, five days something like that now first of all i think if you have a situation where your sprint uh, I mean, if one of the sprint estimate is, uh, let us say, 15 days and uh, it is basically more than uh, what uh, you can deliver in one sprint, then uh, I think it is probably better to break it up further. For example, you can uh, maybe create two or three sp three stories or simply create uh, an epic. So you have more, uh, more breakup because if, let us say, if, if you're expecting your story to span across multiple sprints, that is uh, fine because you can probably do some work in sprint one. And then when you complete your sprint, you will basically have to move your sprint or not sprint, but move your story to the next sprint, which is fine. It happens. But in your plan, when you make a plan, you should intend to uh, deliver the stories that you commit. So if instead of creating a, uh, one story with 15 days estimate and you just have one team with the capacity of 10 day per sprint i think it is better to just break it up further or maybe increase your sprint duration i think uh, this is what you should i believe should i guess can do based on uh, this uh, scenario and uh, when you're using advanced road maps there are a few things that you need to understand now apart from breaking up your stories your one big story into multiple stories and uh, making them under one epic i think what you should also do is you should also try to understand if you have people under these uh, teams of course you can define the capacity of the team but if those uh, team members are already doing something in the same duration or uh, apart from this if uh, uh, there are some releases for example if you notice something like this where you have let us say a sprint uh, with I mean sprints will have dates and at the same time when you plan a story to be delivered you will also associate your story I mean you can also associate your story to a fixed version with start or end dates now this is all considered when making a plan for example if you are trying to release something next week then uh, based on other factors advanced roadmaps will try to assign a sprint uh, which is uh, going to be maybe the next sprint or the current sprint or basically the upcoming sprint where uh, where advanced roadmap will ensure that uh, your, your your release date will be within the range so in the beginning advanced roadmaps can be a bit confusing but i think when you start using it for uh, for, for 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 some time you will understand these things you will basically reverse engineer the behavior of your advanced roadmap plan. But I think uh, uh, 
it is not massively complicated especially the new version the improved version that came out two years ago and of course by the way if you want to learn uh, advanced roadmaps you can actually take a look at my free course i do have a free course called uh, mastering advanced roadmaps you can actually learn about it and you don't have to like go through each and every video but maybe i mean just look at all the videos that i have i have a lot of them by the way so you can just focus on uh, one of them and it will definitely um, take you to the right video where you can see and uh, understand how, ad how advanced roadmap can be used to make a plan and uh, w what i also wanted to say that uh, what i also wanted to say is that if you're making a plan using advanced roadmap uh, you don't have to basically use it uh, and that is a great thing because advanced roadmap will create a plan and it will basically suggest you that okay these stories can be delivered in these um, sprints but you are free to accept or commit those changes back to your project and uh, even after making a plan you can still you know do some adjustments yourself based on your specific needs because advanced roadmaps is of course not really going to replace a manager right it is just a tool so you have to basically use your own judgment you have to also ensure that uh, you are using uh, uh, all the f i mean you're taking care of all the factors that are uh, unique to your situation advanced roadmap will broadly give you an idea about uh, what can be done based on uh, the input that you give to your plan and that input is of course your uh, number of items like stories and if you're using by the way advanced roadmaps also try to use the hierarchy because this hierarchy will help you in planning across multiple sprints or in fact for the next few months for example if you talk about stories stories are supposed to be delivered in the same sprint right uh, or the sprint where you plan it to deliver epics can go go on for maybe two or three sprints roughly maybe a bit more and uh, when you talk about let us say a uh, one level above epic you can of course use advanced roadmaps to create uh, those levels like maybe features or initiatives and uh, when you create those uh, more levels the idea here is that the more i mean when you go up in the hierarchy you are basically saying that okay if you're talking about the topmost level like initiative maybe for example in your case it will take the longest amount of time or you know it will probably go for the next few months and uh, this this feature in Jira, I mean, in Jira, of course, we have three levels uh, within natively within Jira software. We have, of course, Epic Story and Task, you know, Subtask. But uh, this is, of course, you, you, this is using the, so Epic is linked to Story using uh, Epic Link. Story is linked to Subtask using Subtask, which, which, is a, which is a child. But Epic Link is connected to, let us say, feature using a parent link. And anything above Epic Link anything above epic is basically using the parent link so this is what uh, is used in um, in jira to build hierarchies and uh, when you have this hierarchy then uh, you can basically feed in your uh, number of items that you want to deliver and you can always start from the very beginning you can start with the initiative that i want to deliver this let us say your, your initiative is that i want to capture the uk market or uh, i want to capture the us market by end of quarter three this year now you can start with uh, this high level and then you can break it up further and then you can define your work you can ask advanced roadmap how much work i can deliver in the next sprint or in the next release by when i can release it you can also have fixed dates to release because some in some companies in some co organizations uh, you want to ensure that you deliver on this particular date and based on that particular date you define the scope and you you basically uh, have to understand how much I can deliver like you want to maximize your uh, delivery like items that you can deliver and uh, apart from all this if if you want to you can also use I think you should use use the dependencies and in advanced roadmaps there is a feature called a dependency map which is nothing but a report and by the way I do have like one uh, video where I explain how this uh, dependency map uh, works because it will give you this very nice view of uh, how things are connected to each other so that that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye